Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Mr. Hai Loon. Uh, Hai Loon in Vietnamese means uh, shorty. I'm pretty short. So today I'm going to do a video that is a little different than my uh, other videos. I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, the stock market. So in the last few weeks, the stock market had really gone down. In fact, it had gone down 30% from uh, what it all time high. And uh, last few days, I got some friend, um, you know, calling me, messaging me, you know, wanting to know what I think about the market, uh, any opinion, what did I do, what did they do? So that kind of uh, give me an idea to do a video and uh, to talk to you guys about it. So first, I am not a professional financial advisor. Uh, I do have a finance degree at the University of Nebraska. And I'm currently working at a budget analyst for the Department of Defense, but I have been investing in trading stocks for the last 20 years. In fact, uh, I bought my first share of stock when I was a junior in high school. That was uh, Berkshire Hathaway Class B. So it's been about 20 years since I, you know, uh, investing and doing stock, and I went to the the bad bad time in 2009 and now it seemed like you know we might be heading to something similar and it it caught a lot of you know uh stress for people because maybe they got you know 401k they got investment they got mutual funds um when it comes to things like that it really can be a, a lot of stress so what i'm going to talk about today it uh you know, some of my opinions, some of my mistake, maybe you guys can avoid uh, some of the mistakes I made. So in the middle of January, when the stock market is pretty high, uh, the Dow Jones, when, when I'm talking about the Dow Jones, that kind of the thing I follow because it really kind of dictate the market um, and the S&P 500 and stuff like that. But when I left the Dow Jones, uh, when I left to go to Vietnam, the Dow Jones would, uh, at an all-time high, like 29,000 points. So, you know, when I was in Vietnam, I didn't really pay attention uh, to the market that much, but uh, I knew it was doing really good. And the, a lot of the stocks that I held, um, that I have, were doing really good. So I didn't really pay attention that much. But when I got back to the United States in the middle of February, that week, the Dow actually went, uh, the highest at ever and on uh, I believe on February 12 the Dow reached uh, 29,565 points I believe yeah that that was like the all-time high and then now uh, you know a little bit a month we actually lost 30 percent of those highs uh, in fact, yesterday was the worst day that uh, in point-wise for the Dow in history. Uh, yesterday, the Dow went down almost 3,000 points. That is 13%. Uh, so as you can see that, you know, we went from an all-time high and within a short amount of time, it went down 30%. And what it caused it, um, I think... It caused by the uh, the coronavirus uh, pandemic, and people are afraid that how it did uh, pandemic it gonna affect the global economy, and a lot of people I'm sure they they went and they sold, and at a certain point during the day yesterday, I think I believe a couple of times that um, the market had to be halted because it was dropping way too fast, so. But yet today, it's the worst day in points in the history. But you know what? Today, it actually gained 5% five, 5 or it got actually over a thousand points back. So if somebody, you know, panic and they sold yet today, they're going to miss out on today gain. So, you know, and I have done that before, you know, I do my, my 20 years of investing. I actually, there were times that, you know, I panic, I sold. And then right after I sold, the market went back up. And, you know, I always tell people, you know, I 
I have some of the wood luck when it comes to the market sometimes. Because sometimes I buy and it drop. Just right after I buy. And then I sow and it go up. So I was joking with some of my friends. Uh, maybe they should do the opposite I do. But you know what? Those are sometimes. Over the last 20 years of investing, I had made some uh, pretty good money on, on the market. I know during the, during the 2009 crash, um, I made a lot of money just kind of, you know, taking a chance on a uh, solid company. And I knew that eventually when the market recover, they're going to recover and they're going to get me back my money. So therefore, when it go down, when everybody panic, and so I actually buy. So, you know, what do you think I'm doing right now? Over the last two weeks, I have, you know, put a, a whatever money I have, you know, on the side and waiting for a day like that or day like yet today to buy. And yet today morning, I actually bought a bunch of stocks uh, that I think that, you know, have great value that when the market recover, I'm going to make some money. So a lot of people ask me about, you know, 401k and uh, stuff like that. Well, unless you got out and you sold at the beginning when it dropped, right now it kind of a little too late. But you know, like like me, when the Dow dropped from uh, 27,000, uh, 29,000 points to 27,000 points, I actually uh, shipped my money in my 401k to bonds. Um, with it a little safer, you know what? I did that because I knew Okay, I go, I go back. I, I did that not because I knew that it's going to go down like today or where we are right now. I did that because I have a, a feeling that, you know, to make me feel better, maybe I would sit on the side uh, and take a chance. Because we already at a high. So even if I, you know, it went down a little bit, I sell. I knew that I tell will... Um, making money during the, uh, during the good times. And you know, by sheer luck, it just happened that, you know, within the next few days uh, when I sold, the stock market really started going down. There were days that, you know, a thousand points were nothing. And then it went continue on for like three, four days in a row that it went down. So I kind of got lucky. But unless you sell, you know, during the, you know, when it first started, right now selling it, uh, basically you're locking in your loss. Um, and when maybe when the market to to, to recover, you might miss out on that. So sometimes you know you just have to stay strong and ride it out. And just like the crash of two thousand eight, two thousand nine, there the market went back, roaring back, and it haven't stopped until about uh, three weeks ago. So did lot. What is it? Twelve years. You know, the market have been, you know, bad ever. So, as you can see, at some point, it got to go down, you know. And maybe did a jet a correction, or maybe it will send uh, the economy into a recession. And it not just because, you know, it everything else, I believe, like the virus, the pandemic, everybody panicking, um, everything is shutting down, business it. In fact, I'm affected because I have a small business and, you know, when people don't go out and spend money on businesses, you know, they're going to suffer. So, and that what, you know, driving the market down. I also, because people are taking money out, they are afraid that they're going to lose and they're going to withdraw and they sell. And when everybody sell at once, the market really tank big time. So, what should you do? Well, you know, a lot of it. I know the, the instinct it to, you know, like me, you know, well, maybe I should get out while I still have some money left, that kind of thing. But sometimes when we do that, we, we show in panic, we actually end up hurting ourselves because you can never time the market right. You will not sell at the high end and you will not buy in at the low end. So doing time like that, you know, I think that, you know, you just kind of buckle down and ride it out. Because if you already, you know, miss, uh, you know, selling at the high, you know, right now it actually, uh, it might hurt you by selling right now. Because what if you sell now 
and they did it. I mean, tomorrow it's going back up and the next days and, you know, what if did it the end point, you know, the low point, you know. So I think uh, hang on, write it out, um, especially when you're young, uh, if you have a lot of time, you know, the, his, uh, the history of the market, it always up and down, up and down, but eventually it, it like a up and down, but it go up. So if you look at the, you know, if you look at the history of the market, look at uh, 2009, uh, it went down big time. And look what it, what it, when it went up, it went up big time. So, you know, hang in there. Also, during time like that, I think it's good opportunity to start looking at some of the company that, you know, uh, pretty solid, but have taken some big hit. And, you know, maybe start buying little by little. Because sometimes you buy it all at once, and then, you know, later on it continues to go down. Then you don't have any, uh, any money left over to buy it when it lower. So you buy a little at a time. So hopefully, you know, if it go down, then you still have a little bit more money to buy and and so on. So you kind of averaging out your cost. And then when, uh, you know, when the market go back up, you're going to make those gains back. So, you know, instead of panic and sell during the market, uh, doing bad market, I think you should buy more. If you have additional money, you want to put uh, you know, toward your retirement, or you want to do investment or your mutual fund, I think it's a good time to buy. Because when everybody panic and sell, and the market really bad, it is time when you should buy, not sell. So, you know, that's what I've been doing in the last few days, you know, with some extra incomes, um, or extra money I have, is, you know, in a saving, I actually took, take those out, and I actually put it in the market and buy a little. Now, don't invest more than you can afford, you know. Don't use your emergency uh, money to do it. You still need your emergency money. But, you know, the money, if you get having sitting around, um, not doing anything, I think it's a really good time to, you know, start looking into the market, buying some of the, uh, you know, companies that are solid but are struggling. That, and, that, and overall... The stock market have millions of stocks that you can buy, but there, there always a list of solid stock, you know, company that been proven, that been around for a long time, you know, stuff like that, that you can put your money, and it's a little bit safer, but you have potential to gain, you know, when it go back. For me, I I like to take a little risk, so. You know, I look at company that been hit the hardest, and you know, and I, I took a chance, you know. But we're talking about long term. You know, we talk, we're not talking about um, buying and selling, not day trading, but I'm talking about buying and holding on. And some of these companies, you might to hold on five years, ten years, you know. But it's for the long term. And if so, even though I uh, I've been investing in a trading stock for a while, I actually never really. Uh, do a video to talk about it and uh, one of my friends kind of uh, gave me some idea you know maybe sharing my opinions um, maybe some people out there they they never you know invest or they never trade stocks and maybe this can help them out but um, maybe uh, after this video I will you know do some more videos where I talk about you know some uh, some of the stock I'm buying or holding and uh, maybe some recommendations so uh, thank you for watching my video hopefully you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye